Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is Mining Project Shop Management System and uh, I have developed this project in Python, Django and MySQL. The version for the Python I am using is the Python version 3 and the Django version is 2 and uh, for database version I am using 5.6. For connecting the MySQL with Python I am using the PySQL, uh, MySQL uh, Python connector uh, and you will get easily from the mysql.org website. Also. Uh, for front-end development, I am using the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also I have used like uh, uh, calendar integration, form validations and the creating drop-down menus. I have used the uh, jQuery plugins, right? So this is all about the technology stack which I have used for developing this SOP management system. So let's start with the functionality go through. So as you know, the project title is SOP management system and uh, it's a mini project. Uh, which I have developed in Python, Django and MySQL. So this is a mini project because it has only an only admin login. There is no customer login inside this project. And uh, there is only three to four modules available in this project. Okay. So let's go and see what's the functionalities are there inside the project. So this is the home page of the project, right? This is the about of the project. And if you want to change the content, then you can change directly from the HTML. This is a contact. This is a static contact page and i am not sending any type of email and sms from this page this is login and uh, this is a totally dynamic and if you don't have the user id and password then you will not be able to log inside the system right so i am logging the user id is admin and the password test so this is the home page of the project means dashboard of the project you can say this is the dashboard and these operations you can perform right you can add the product you can add the product sales you can see the product details and you can see the sales detail also you can change the password okay so once you click on the add product then you can add the product here right so you can add any number of product here and uh, suppose if you are getting a new product then you can add the product here right this is the product details so all of the product which you have added uh, will be displayed here. Currently there are four products available, but if you want add, to add more, then go on the add product. And after that, you can add like uh, data sort, <coughs> right? Product cost is uh, 25 rupees, type salt and company data is stock 100, right? Once you click on the submit, then you can see the data salt is here and you can also edit and delete the record from here, right? You can also delete the record, right? So currently there are four products available only. This is the add product. This is the product details. Also, this form is validated, right? Sorry. This is the add sales, right? And uh, you need to enter your name. So for sales first you need to enter the customer name and the customer contact number right and once you start the ad then this is the sales form and this drop down will contain all of the product which you have added it means which is available in the database right once you click on the ad then you can see the products are getting added right okay you can see the products are getting added and the total cost is calculating here right so you can see here right so if you want to remove any of the product just click on the delete and those product will be removed and you can see the total amount the customer needs to pay is 120 rupees right and if you want to add more then you can add more also once you click on the save order then that order will be saved and you can see the order number is six and the customer name and the customer mobile and this is the total cost right if you want to print the record then just click on the print and the print table page will be open and you can print the record also right this is a change password right so these are sales details so all of the sales which has been made by customer will be displayed here and if you click on the view order then you can see uh, the details of the order right you can see here this is a change password right from where uh admin can change his login password right and uh, 
after changing his password he will be able to log in with his updated password right okay the last thing i want to show you the above menu right the above menu is totally session driven and uh, if you log out from the system the above administration menu will not be displayed and if you log inside it then the above administration menu is displaying right so you can see right so this is all about my project shop and admin system and uh, as i told you earlier this is a mini project which i had developed in python django and mysql so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes and i will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest video updates on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much